I'm here to launch a £600,000 scheme, uh, which is going to benefit 28 uh, different uh, different places. Uh, grassroots, well, grassroots sport, but grassroots football is kind of my passion. I've been involved in it for a very long period of time, um, and so I'm really quite pleased to be able to announce it. £300 million being invested uh, um, over the course of this parliament up to 2025, so uh, a decent chunk of money. And, of course, there's all the money that comes through other uh, other. Uh, TV sponsorship and other things as well that, that, that flows down. So yeah, it's a big chunk of money. I mean, I, I think there's now an expectation of good facilities around around football, and there, and there should be. Um, you know, when parents drop their kids off to train, and when uh, they come to to watch, they want their kids playing on sa in safe in safe spaces, um, uh, and you know, to enjoy the game. And um, you know, what we see behind us is a perfect example of what can be done. And actually, it's not huge sums of money that are required to completely change the face of a, a, of a club and I think you know, Cruz demonstrated that here. Yeah, I was just hearing the story from uh, the club chairman here about how this club moved from Belfast, how it's grown, how it was almost like a family passion, or well, still is a family passion, and um, how now this community, uh, cross communities and indeed cross sports are using the facilities, you know, Camogie being played here, um, you know, this is what it should be like. It's a joint project, uh, it's funded by DCMS and it's administered by ourselves, the Irish Football Association. We've had 54 clubs that have benefited from funding so far from DCMS, that's about 1.3 million and over the next two years we've got another 5.6 million which will go into projects, so incredibly worthwhile grassroots fund. You know, grassroots football is the is the lifeblood of football in any country and particularly in Northern Ireland. So we're so pleased to be able to get this amount of funding that we've been able to put to so many different clubs. And we've had many, many applications over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, in all funding, um, you're always going to get a much bigger demand than supply. But in total, over the four years of this project, there's been almost 7.4 million that will be invested over the period and that's a fabulous boost to our facilities here in this country. These days people want good facilities, they deserve good facilities and you know if we want to play football, if we want our children to play football, we need to give them great places to play and if we take an example like Crew United here who've benefited from the DCMS funding over the past couple of years, this is a tremendous facility in this location. You know, if I lived here, if I lived in this location and I wanted to play football or my children wanted to play football, this is a great place to come. We're just delighted to have him here. Um, he is a referee of uh, many years standing. He enjoys refereeing. He loves grassroots football himself uh, and he's been a, a great partner for us so far.